guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, you're really welcome. My name's Laura and this video is a video jam-packed with lots of different options for you to consider if things don't go the way you hoped for on your A-level results day. So I thought it'd be a good idea to make a video with about six different options for you to consider as a student who potentially hasn't got their grades yet, as a student who maybe doesn't know if they'll meet the grade requirements, or for someone that is a bit worried that their GCSEs or AS level results aren't strong enough to study medicine. I've been getting lots of questions recently from students who are nervous and worried about getting their results, that they won't meet the predicted grades that they need to get their offer and get into medical school. So I thought it would be a good idea to make a video with different options for you to consider if things don't go to plan. So I've come up with six different options for you to consider and I'm hoping that one or more of these will suit your circumstances and will allow you to pursue your dream of studying medicine. But first of all, I just want to go over some of the questions that I've been getting also. And the first one is, what are the typical grade requirements that UK medical schools give out for their offers? This totally depends on which medical schools you choose to apply to. And it also depends on the year that you're competing against. Some years grade boundaries will be really high and others they'll be average to low. This can range from anywhere like three A stars all the way to a mixture of A's and B's. And some medical schools have even given out offers of lower than this in the past. So if you're concerned and you're not really sure what you're going to get yourself, make sure to do some research and look into each medical school's websites for more information about their school requirements. Another question that I've been getting recently is what to do if you don't meet the predicted grades that you needed to get. You're not alone if you're watching this and you have not got the grades that you were hoping for. It is an upsetting thing and it is not something that is easy to deal with. However, I hope by watching this video, you will realise that there are lots of opportunities still open for you to avail of and also that you are definitely not alone. So please do not let it put you off wishing to study medicine. Lots and lots of great doctors have missed out on grades and different parts of their application process and become top in their field. So it is definitely not something that medical schools will ever frown upon. And in fact, they really encourage medical students to reapply so that it shows how passionate and hungry they are to study medicine. So here are the six different options that I've come up with and I would have made use of if things hadn't gone to plan for me. So I hope these six options will be useful for you and give you some more ideas of what to do next. So option number one is aimed at students who have missed out slightly on their grades that they thought they could get for their first choice medical school, but potentially have achieved high enough grades to get into their second choice or insurance choice on their UCAS application form. This means that you may not get to your chosen university. However, if you have been able to get through the application process for more than one university and have put down another medical school as your insurance choice on your application form, then you will automatically be able to study medicine at your insurance choice university. This is a great way of getting in to study medicine, even if you missed out on the grades that you were hoping to get for your first choice university. It also means that you don't have to go through the whole application process again and you will be studying medicine as a year one in September. I know this may not be an option for all students watching this video, so don't panic. There are plenty more options and paths to choose from in this video, so keep listening to hopefully find something that will suit you and your circumstances. But for those who have the opportunity to choose their backup university, I would highly recommend this route as it is a quick and easy process and it means that you will be getting to a medical school this September. So my option number two is actually something that I ended up doing, not for the same reasons as missing results, but actually due to the COVID pandemic and it is the option to take a gap year. For students who have missed out on their grades, it's a fabulous opportunity to take the year out, reset A-levels and reapply. 
It can be a bit daunting if you've not planned to do this, but it is a great opportunity and opens so many doors to do such amazing things on your year out. I've managed to do lots of different things that I never would have done if I had gone straight into medical school, so I highly recommend thinking about this as an option. You have the experience of applying before and if you've already managed to get an offer from medical school, definitely think about applying to these universities again, doing the same application process. I know it's a tough thought to have to sit through the whole application process all over again, but it is a great opportunity if that's something that you would be able to do and take the year out to not only do your A-levels, potentially you can be mad again interviews, but also to accompany your personal statement with lots of other things like volunteering, getting some work experience, maybe going and working somewhere and also maybe doing a bit of traveling and just enjoying your year out. Medical schools will not look at you any differently as they know that this is a common thing that students have to do and it actually shows them that you're really committed and have a real passion to study medicine. So as much as it may not be something that you plan to do, definitely consider this as an option. So option three now, and this one is directed more towards students who haven't actually chosen where they wish to study medicine yet, but they're a little bit concerned that the grades they've already got or the grades they're going to get aren't going to be high enough to get them into your typical medical school in the UK. So this option is to consider applying to foundation courses in UK medical schools. I had never actually heard about foundation courses and pathways to get into medicine, but after taking some time and doing a bit of research about them, there are some amazing medical schools that offer great programs for students who aren't quite achieving the A's and A stars. They have lower grade boundaries to allow more students to apply and get into medicine, and they are offering you to do an extra year on the front of your medical course. You will still be able to study medicine and become a doctor. You come out with the exact same degree. The only thing that you have to do extra is to sit an extra year as a foundation year or year zero. This means that your overall medical course will be six years long, but don't let that put you off. If it's something that you are interested in, make sure to go and do some research. And I've put in a link in the description down below. So check that out for more information. So option number four, and this one again is directed towards students who haven't chosen their course yet or for students who have received their results on A-level results day and haven't got the grades that they require for their medical schools, but they can go into clearing and pick another course that is similar to medicine and will allow you to apply to medical schools as a postgraduate. These courses include biomedical science, straight sciences like biology, chemistry, physics. You could even do things like stratified medicine or other courses that are also heavily linked to medicine. These are great ways of allowing you to sit a course as an undergraduate and then apply to medicine as a postgraduate. Universities love postgraduates and at some universities they actually encourage postgraduates over undergraduates. This is because they're more mature, it shows how driven and passionate they are and overall they do well because they know that medicine is definitely the choice of career that they want to have. It also means that you'll be streets ahead of your peers when it comes to anatomy, physiology and lots of other sections of the course and it will make revision and your life a lot easier as a medical student. So option number five, this one is for the adventurous type and people that are maybe looking to get away a bit further than the UK. And this one is to go and study abroad. There are lots and lots of European and worldwide medical schools that really look for students from the UK. And it's a great opportunity to think about enjoying a bit of traveling as well as studying medicine. There are lots of medical schools out there and they require quite a variety of different things, not so heavily based on grades. They might have different entrance exams and they can open up lots of different avenues for you globally studying medicine abroad. If you're interested in studying abroad, check the description down below because I've added in some links that might be useful for you and do double check the sort of requirements and things that they are looking for 
but it is a great opportunity if you're the adventurous type who wants to get away, do a bit of traveling and just immerse yourself in a totally new experience. You can make use of lots of different scholarships or bursaries, but do bear in mind that there may be some catches like having to sit another exam if you wish to come and practice as a doctor in the UK again. But if it's something you wish to consider, definitely take a look at the links in the description below. So finally, option six. This one's aimed at students that aren't very confident that they will meet the GCSEs and AS level requirements for applying to medical schools and they're not really sure what to do. There are plenty of medical schools across the UK that look for more than just A stars and grades. So why don't you think about choosing some that are more heavily focused on things like your UCAP, BMAT, personal statement or extracurricular activities. It's a good idea to go and do your own research and find out which universities best suit the things that you are good at. If you've got really good scores in your UCAT or BMAT, then definitely consider applying to universities that weigh this quite heavily in their selection criteria. This will open up more opportunities for you being selected for interview and then potentially being given an offer to study medicine. Getting into medicine doesn't mean that you have to be an A-star student. You have to be strategic about where you choose to study medicine and make sure that you choose medical schools that suit your strengths. So to summarise this video, I just want to say these six options are fabulous for any students that are concerned or worried that they're not going to get their grades to get into medical school or for students that aren't really sure where to apply to university as their grades from GCSE or AS level aren't as high as they hoped. There are plenty of different pathways to get you into medicine and it's just being strategic about which ones you choose and which ones suit your circumstances best. Make sure that if you haven't received the grades that you had hoped for and you're disappointed with not being able to study medicine this year, don't let it put you off and do continue to pursue your dream of studying medicine and becoming a doctor. If you'd like any more information or options or simply to just ask a question, please go check out my Reddit group and my Instagram for more opportunities, options and top tips and advice. Make sure to check out the rest of my videos for lots more information and top tips on how to get into medical school and also what to do if things don't go the way you expect. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to keep you up to date with all my new content and videos that I'll be releasing to help you on your application journey to medical school and for more information about your grades, UCAT scores and personal statements. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!